okay. Uh, this uh, at this exhibition, uh, the theme of the exhibition was uh, you know the growth and the behavior of dinosaur. Uh, what do you want to want the visitor to see and uh, know from this exhibition? Well, I think I think it's important that you know that they know about growth and behavior. Mm -hmm. I mean that's the whole point. <laughs> but but I think the you know. The, the most important thing is, is to look at dinosaurs differently. Yeah, that's um, in the past, uh, people generally look at dinosaurs and look for the differences between them. Mm -hmm. um, and so they see a lot of different species. Mm -hmm. But now, you know, the new way of looking at them is to look at their similarities mm -hmm. and also look you know, at their ontogeny, their growth, mm -hmm. and 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 sort out the ones that could be young mm -hmm. and could be old mm -hmm. by looking at the internal structure mm -hmm. of the bones. Mm -hmm. So, do you mean the visitor would drag you would you drag them to know the ontogeny of dinosaurs? I want them to think about. I want them to think about how how animals grow up. Oh, I see. So. Animals that are very social mm -hmm. look very different mm -hmm. when they're young mm -hmm. than when they're older. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, the general public can even start looking at other groups of dinosaurs mm -hmm. and start thinking about oh, which, ones, um, which ones are actually, you know, juveniles of other adults. I think it's a really sensational for mm -hmm. the visitors. Yes. Yeah. You know, you, like uh, you said uh, yesterday, uh, more than 20 years ago, you found the Maya Saura, mm -hmm. and then you suggested dinosaurs uh, taking care of the, their children. Mm -hmm. So, and then after that, the dinosaur research, dinosaur research really developed quickly. So, what will go on the dinosaur research in the future. Do you have any idea? Well, I, th I think the future of dinosaur research, and um, I think dinosaur research is moving to a point now where, where we have a lot of different kinds, uh -huh. but we don't, what we need in order to do the kinds of things mm -hmm. that we're doing at the Museum of the Rockies, mm -hmm is not to go get a whole bunch of different ones, uh -huh. but to get a whole bunch of the same ones. Uh -huh. So we can do the kinds of, we can, we can learn, we can discover mm -hmm. that Triceratops and Taurosaurus are mm -hmm. the same animal uh -huh. by collecting lots and lots yeah. of mm -hmm. specimens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't determine that by collecting one. Yeah, that's true. So I think in the future, um, your museum, mm -hmm. I think one of the things that you could do is actually send out expeditions to get many dinosaurs uh -huh, of uh -huh. one species. Um, so you can start looking at variation uh -huh. um, and and growth and behavior. I mm -hmm. mean, that's the only way you can study that. Oh, I see. Is to have many specimens. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And people haven't done that before. Mm. So that's research. Uh, only that, like uh, the museum, like your museum, mm -hmm. can do such a research. We right? and that's that's. I mean, if you think about it, our museum is doing most of this new research mm -hmm. because we've collected a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, everybody else could do it. All they have to do is go collect some. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's true. Good. All right, that's all <laughs> I have to do. Okay, keep on next. Uh, yeah, actually, you know, like uh, the governor said, uh, you found the soft tissue from the T Rex. Mm -hmm. So now, what happened on such a research? Well, the, that research is still going on. We have a, a laboratory that we take into oh, the field. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we are getting more proteins. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't found DNA yet. Yeah, okay. 
but we think we will find it. Oh, cool. We're pretty sh we're pretty certain we'll get mm -hmm. little pieces. Mm -hmm. We might not be able to do very much with it, uh -huh. but I think we're going to start getting enough protein that mm -hmm. we will be able to do mm -hmm. something with it. So, did you get this protein from the same T. Rex? I mean, B. Rex. Uh, yes. Well, we've we've got proteins from B. Rex. We've got proteins from a Brachylophosaurus. Oh, I see. Um, and we've we've gotten some protein from another dinosaur that's mm -hmm. not published yet. Mm, cool. So we're doing pretty well that way. But when it comes to DNA, you know, birds are dinosaurs. Yeah. And so what we're doing now is actually trying to retro-engineer a bird mm -hmm. to turn it into a dinosaur. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be fun. Yeah. So as long as I heard you were intention of this uh, exhibition, I think the, you think that di uh, you would like people to think or uh, consider a dinosaur as more a bird, right? Not like, just a reptile. It, it's right. Dinosaurs gave rise to birds. Mm -hmm. and, and so when people are comparing dinosaurs to other animals, mm -hmm. they should not compare them to mammals. Oh, yeah. And that's what we like to do. We like to compare triceratops to rhinoceros. Yeah, yeah, in some And, you know, that's just the wrong way to think yeah, about because it. Because it's different. It's completely kind of animal. different. Animal. Yeah, that's right. Completely different. But dinosaurs are very similar to birds. Mm -hmm. Birds, even though they're littler, have a lot of the same characteristics. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. Now, now, there, except for that some kind of soft tissue issue, do you have any uh, research topic which you interested in now? Well, that's that one of the things that I am working on right now is um, on retro engineering a bird. Mm -hmm. We are doing we are doing developmental biological mm -hmm. studies mm -hmm. on birds looking for um, how the tail of a dinosaur reduced oh, to see. make oh. to make the short tail mm -hmm. of a bird. Mm -hmm. And we're going to reverse that and mm -hmm. make a bird grow a tail. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's <laughs> what we're working on. Oh, that's cool. And researchers at the University of uh, Wisconsin have figured out a way to stimulate a gene to turn on so that a chicken or a bird can have teeth. Oh, that okay. has been done. Really? Yes. And we're also looking at the three-fingered oh, hand. Oh, yeah. It was a really big issue. So, right? so yeah. birds... Uh, as they're developing in their egg, mm -hmm. their their three-fingered hand fuses together oh, okay. to make a wing. Uh -huh. And so we're looking for that gene uh -huh. so we can turn that off and the bird will be born with the three-fingered hand. Mm. So what we're hoping to do is actually hatch out a, a bird mm -hmm. that has a long tail, mm -hmm. a three-fingered hand, mm -hmm. and teeth. Yes. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a dinosaur. Basically a dinosaur. <laughs> yes. ah, cool. And then now I would like I would like to you know, not kind of advice but uh, I'd like to know how uh, what do you ex ex uh, expect for the dinosaur research in Asia and Japan? Well, you know, the dinosaur research in Asia and Japan is, you know, has the potential mm -hmm. of being what we're doing. I mean, doing, you have the same potential that mm -hmm. we have. Mm -hmm. I mean, not in Japan necessarily because it's, you know, dinosaurs are rare. Yeah. Yeah. But in Mongolia, I have a team there now mm -hmm. that is collecting cetacosaurs. Mm. And we are, we are collecting uh, mm. lots of them. We we have oh. we have more than three hundred of them, oh. just to look at variation, mm -hmm. uh, growth, and behavior. And the same topic. The yeah. Same topic. That's because right. The, that the project so, was done there. It's done there. MRR. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, so you know, we're hoping that other people will go out to Mongolia or mm -hmm. China, mm -hmm. and. Uh, and start collecting massive numbers of one species.
Yeah, let's go. Yeah. And then lastly, uh, I would like to uh, know how do you think of Fukui as long oh. as you stay here? Well, you mean like of the city? Yes, uh, city or world. The kind or of the everything. I mean, well, it's a beautiful country around here. Uh, I mean, you know, it's it it certainly it's you know mountains and the ocean. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's hard yeah, to beat. Visitor this. Uh, this morning you visited uh, Tojimbo, I mean the mm -hmm. Jap Japan yeah. Sea. Yeah, no, I I think it's I think it's beautiful, mm. but it's a little too hot. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> okay, thank you. I think thank you. That's all.